What's going on guys? I'm the Bad Influence and today I'm bringing you some more Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Throughout this game there's going to be some funny clips and we're also going to go over what I did right and what I did wrong. In the first part of this game I kind of went for a more like rush approach. Tried to rush these people really hard and it turned out that they were rushing really hard. But throughout the game I kept on dying and I decided to stay back and plant some claymores and try to build my kill streak up from a further position instead of running up on these people. The ACR is a perfect weapon for long range shots. Now I slowed this next part down because I just want y'all to see how much air this fucking dude got. Like, what the fuck? Now staying back really allowed me to build up a kill streak instead of continually rushing and getting killed. It may seem kind of campy. Also consider that I'm going to do whatever it takes to get the nuke. And I slowed down this part for y'all because look at that double kill. Sick. Now here's the problem with playing a little bit more defensively is that when I finally did get my Harriers the game was already at 7200. So basically my Harriers were pretty much useless. Pretty sure they didn't even get a single kill. So on to game two in Favela. Starting out, I pretty much played the favela game much like the previous game. I slowed this part down so y'all could see the importance of claymores. Remember this claymore that I placed right here. This is how well these things do and this is why they're on most of my classes. If you place those little bastards correctly, that's almost a free kill every time. At this point in the game, I knew that I was on a pretty decent kill streak, and I knew that I was getting close to my Harriers, so I tried to play a little bit more defensively, utilizing the biggest building in Favela to my advantage. Because you know that I'm your only competition in this game. Again, just another example of how much the Claymores actually do. It's pretty much like a free kill. So at this point, I had just gotten my Harriers and a free kill from that sniper that almost killed me. I was pretty much just going to sit back and let my Harriers do what they do and bring me to my chopper gun. This is why I think that I haven't gotten a nuke yet, is I always get choppers like this. It seems like my chopper just never gets enough kills, or I'm so far at the end of the game that I just can't finish with a tactical nuke. I did get a few kills in the chopper, but not enough. The game ended with me still in my chopper gunner and my final score being 18 and 1. This next game was on the map Skid Row, and this is one of my most hated maps. It's so campy, and there's just so many places for people to hide. So, like I always do on this map, is just to pull out my Baz 12 and go sh fucking shotgun crazy. But unfortunately that last game didn't really go to plan. It started kind of to go downhill after that game. This Afghan game ended up being a extremely shitty game. I think there was somebody with an aimbot in this game and it just kind of went like this. Yep, pretty much. Mission failed. We'll get next time. The next game on Rundown, I decided to use a gun setup that I haven't used it since probably 10 years ago. This is the AK-47 Silenced. I mean, can we just take a second? What the hell was this guy doing? Ooh, let's go. And then we have this guy. I mean, what the hell is he doing? He was just like, fuck it. I'm jumping out this window. Sorry buddy, ain't no flying out of windows on my watch. And again, I get my Harriers right as the game is about to end at 6,900 points. The next game's on high rise. On high rise, I like to take a more rush heavy approach. So it was definitely the UMP silenced. What is that guy doing? To be like this. 
want to make a point of this I use a really good headset most of these guys didn't have a ninja pro which made it really easy for me to listen to their footsteps and kind of know where they were coming from which led me to my Harriers but unfortunately these kids were shooting everything down which in turn led me to come out of my camping spot and get the remaining kills for my chopper gunner. Look at that. And of course, like most of my choppers, this didn't do shit. I did manage to build a kill streak all the way up to 21, and then this shit happens. This is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for you. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video. If you did make it to the end, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and turn on the bell for notifications. It only takes a second, and it really helps me out.